Welcome to Kyle's Playtime's Dad's PSA box break. It's not really a break, it's a reveal. So people re uh, reveal their PSA graded cards submitting one, two, three, or a handful. <clears throat> we tend to submit in the hundreds. In fact, we have a submission at their and we discovered their maximum allowable submission is 500 cards. And after that, you have to generate a separate order. So this is that separate order here. We have a 500 waiting at, at PSA. <clears throat> and this right here is, I think it's 174, let's see. 174. Let's see, where is it? 174 cards. So, disclaimer, these are not my cards. These are cards of an associate of mine. You can see how they wrap these really nice when you do bulk orders, they do them in sub boxes. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Just somehow they're tied together. Here's empty box. Good job, Patrick. So, eight and nine is here. They're really not in any order. I have no idea what's in here. So I'm cutting them open here, so you can see. Not that there's any any uh, secrets about this. It's just grading, so it's not like it's doing a box break of sort. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack these boxes. I don't know if you can see. Hi. So that way I could show these cards where they came in. They're in no specific order. So here we go. <clears throat> this first box looks like it has 2009 Michael Jordan, PSA 9. And this one, an associate of mine, had these in his collection, raw, in just in storage boxes. He got a collector, uh, but they didn't put them in sleeves and um, did not put them in extra protection with the uh, top loaders or the card savers. They were just sitting in boxes for anywhere. That was a 2009, this is 2015, anywhere from as recent as five years ago, maybe, five, 10 years ago, and as far back as 20 years ago, maybe, 25 years ago, Kobe Bryant, PSA 8. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do him a favor. I'm gonna stack the eights and the nines. 95 Flair Jordan, PSA 8. Ninety-seven Jordan Big Shots PSA nine. Well, I don't want to make this take forever. So interesting. Two thousand Surrey seven Lakers only owner Jerry Buss. R.I.P. He's deceased. PSA eight. Michael Jordan ninety-seven Skybox PSA eight. So this is showing you if you just have raw cards that you take kind of okay care of. That's like twenty-five, thirty years old. You could expect an eight or a nine. But it's very rare to get a 10 if you didn't take care of the cards extremely well. Tracy McGrady, PSA seven. Kobe Bryant, PSA seven. Kobe Bryant, PSA nine. Dwight Howard, PSA nine. Let's see if I can get this out of the glare. 
James Harden, 2009. Rookie card, PSA 9. PSA 8. Hakeem Elage wants center spotlight flare. Insert card. Hakeem Elage won famous names. PSA 8. PSA 9. Giannis, I can't pronounce his last name without butchering it. Asia version, 2021. So that's relatively new. So PSA 9. PSA 8, Michael Jordan. PSA 8, die, die cut, Michael Jordan. PSA 7, I actually have the promo version of this card that I had as a BGS 9.5. And this is 7. But that's a different, I got that graded years ago. PSA 7, it's one of those acrylic, you can see my finger here. Acetate, I guess, clear, clear cards. PSA 7. PSA 7, Jordan. So, looking at the things, 7s, 8s, and 9s. So the majority came in at 8 or 9. And we'll look at the stack at the end of this video. Here's box 1, box 2. This might be a long video, so you can fast forward if you're bored. But if you just love looking at cards, like people do on the internet, this is going to be a nice, I'm guessing it's going to be about an hour or less. Larry Bird, PSA 7. PSA 7, Grant Hill, Thrill Seeker. Hakeem Olajuwon, PSA 8. Rejectors. Shaquille O'Neal, Towers of Power. PSA 6, the lowest card so far. 6. PSA 7, Hakeem Olajuwon. So if you see a trend, it looks like these are all basketball cards. PSA 7, Michael Jordan, 1999. 25 years old almost. Oh, PSA 5, Hakeem Olajuwon. I don't know what made this a 5. Centering looks a little top heavy. Corners look good. It must be the surface. I'm not, it's in the case, I can't tell. Chris Paul, PSA 8. Andre Ugadala, Warriors, but he's in the 76ers here. PSA 8. Damon, Dame, hot now, PSA 9. Red Prism, it's gonna be a good card here. Steph Curry, PSA 7. The funny thing about this card is I got this card back in 2009 when he got, was injured. I gave it to my my nephew who was like 10 years old. I, I did put it in a nice card case. He doesn't know where it is anymore. Could be worth some good money. And I also gave him one. I think it had a piece of the jersey embedded in it because he's a Warriors fan because he's from the Bay. <clears throat> but this is seven. So yeah, I gave him that one. I gave him a lot of good cards actually. At the time, I gave him an autographed um, either Iguodala or the other guy. What's the guy? The guy? Damon Green. Draymond Green. LeBron James, Gen Mint 10. Look at that. 2004 flight team. First 10. PSA 8, Michael Jordan. PSA 8, Andre Iguodala. PSA 9, another flight team. Same card, 45, 1 to 9, 1 to 10. Can't tell the difference personally. But they, again, a lot of times they say about grading, it is especially in comic books, the difference between a 9 and a 10 is whether or not your grader had a good day or a bad day, and it's sort of subjective. So sometimes you cannot really, really tell more so with comics because they use a more granular point grading system, but with cards, it could be the sort of the same. PSA 7, the centering's a little off. Larry Bird. Michael Jordan tops gold. Gem Mint 10, or something this old. I mean, this thing is 93, so that's like 30 years old. 
See, look, it's a little top heavy here, a little skinnier here. So one could say it's not quite perfectly centered yet. It got a 10. But, you know, who knows? It's grading. It's archival. It's third party. It's not disputed too often. People often say people buy the number, not the card. So the seven, some people will ignore the fact that there's only a hundred of these that exists. It's a black diamond Dr. J. Julie Serving. It's a PSA 7. So do you buy the number or do you buy the card? And if so, you buy it raw. Oh, look, another Jerry Buss note to number 52. Every, I guess they had every single card, 52 pickup, 52 cards in a card deck. This is a, tr a playing card embedded. It's a poker card. So this one, I get yeah, I mean, it's on card, even though it's framed in there. This should be worth some good money, I'm guessing. <clears throat> so recap. One five. One six. A lot of sevens. A lot of eights. Next to no nines. Next to no tens. So the tally is so far one, one five, one six, bunch of sevens, a whole lot of eights. That's the most of his cards are eights, nines, and two tens so far. Okay, so we're 11 minutes into this video for two boxes, so I think we're pacing okay. Next box. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this for the 500 submit. I'll see what people comment on this one and how long this runs. <clears throat> New brick. <clears throat> this is a really nice card. Kobe and Shaq. PSA 8, 1999. 25 years old. Pretty nice card. So I'm eight to go there. Seven. Kobe Bryant, 2009. Again, this sort of proves when you get cards, you got to take care of them right off the bat. Put them in penny sleeves, card uh, savers, or top loaders, and store them so they don't get those. Because you use micrometers or loops to really look at all of the surface, edge, corners, centering. So two surfaces, front and, front and back, four corners, edges. And surfaces. Surfaces is what usually kills you with these glossy type cards because they have just really a lot of little micro abrasions and that ruins it. And then a lot of things that are out of your control also is the centering. It's heavier here than there. PSA 9. This was a 2008 Kobe Bryant. Gem Mint Kobe Bryant. Let's see if I could pick away at this one. Look at this centering on the sides. This is thinner than this ever so slightly. This is a little bit more top heavy and this is a little bit more thinner. So I could argue that this could be a nine. But then this argues for the fact that a 10 could excuse a little bit of problems. And again, look at this. <clears throat> What's the difference between a nine and a 10? Stare at it, stare at it, look at it. And this is 50% of the story. <clears throat> is the other 50%, the other half. So it's sort of interesting when people sell online and they just show the front of the card, that's really only showing you half of it, like this half, not this half. <clears throat> she got some water. PSA 8, Kobe Bryant, 2006. PSA 9, Kobe Bryant, 2008. <clears throat> Kobe Bryant, 2000, the year 2000, PSA 8. PSA 9, Kobe Bryant. None, we don't have a lot of bulk of the same card, like they said. If you're watching this, you're just looking at a bunch of different cards from 20 plus years ago, right now. 2003 Kobe Bryant, PSA 7. PSA 8, Kobe Bryant. 
And you'll be able to find these on eBay probably because the person I had these graded for is probably going to sell them. So just look on eBay because I think that's how he sells them. PSA 9, Jacoby Bryant, 1997. 99, Black Diamond, PSA 8. Those are pretty hard to get because they're black corners, black framing. Sometimes they get dinged up, so an 8 is pretty nice. PSA 8, Kobe Bryant. PSA 9, Kobe Bryant. PSA 7, this is a nice looking card by design. Kobe Bryant. <clears throat> oh, this is interesting. PSA 8.5, 99 Finest. It says something about removing this coating. Remove protective mask, touch circles to activate thermal link. Let's see if I put my hot hand on it, if anything happens. I don't know, I bet you, if you get a hair dryer and you, you um, put, put a little bit of heat there, that I'll show, but then it may create some sort of sweat or precipitation of some sort. 8.5, 8 I don't think I've seen 8.5 before. So I'm gonna put it right in the middle. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. PSA 8, Kobe Bryant, 1999. PSA 8, Michael Jordan, 1997. To me, I was collecting back in these days to these don't look like old cards, but I've been collecting since 1987, and I was a kid, so. 95, PSA 9. So subtotal of this is interesting. We got a couple of PSA 7s. Again, a lot of PSA 8s. A weird PSA 8.5. PSA 9s. Decent stack, and one PSA 10. So the tally so far is one five, one six, bunch of sevens, a lot of eights, one 8.5, some nines, and you can see nines, there's one more seven than nine. These are the sevens, these are the nines. So, so far, the prevailing grade is an 8, then a 7, then a 9, and only three PSA 10s. Next box. One, two, three, four, five. Six boxes to go. Can't open this thing up. So this is mainly basketball so far. I think there's a couple of baseball in here, but we're gonna we're gonna call it basketball just because the majority is basketball. It seems like it's Jordan and Kobe and some new hot uh, hot stars, but not, nothing too new. Michael Jordan PSA seven. I have this card actually PSA seven Michael Jordan. When I say I have this card, these again these are not my cards. PSA 9, same card. Can you tell the difference? Let's see if I could tell the difference. Not really. Too great step. But who knows? Who knows the secrets behind PSA? PSA 7, Michael Jordan. Should I get this glare out? You could comment if you think this video isn't that good because there's too much glare. I can always change it a little bit. So this is a 7 and an 8. Same card. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Too much glare. I see the, glare, the reflection on my camera right now. 7, 8. Oh, this is nice. This is one of those foil embossed NBA hoops. They look like they're rare, but they really aren't that rare. I mean, it's a variant and it's a shorter print, but the PSA 8. This is nice. It's all black border. Jordan, PSA 9, 1995. The Boss, Michael Jordan, PSA 7. So again, we're seeing a lot of 7s and 8s. Oh, now we got a 6. 
looks like the 84 Topps um, baseball design. You can see on some of them it's a little bit yellowing in the color. I'm not sure if that's natural aging because I know they've been stored nicely, not particularly great, but they were not out in the open. They were just in monster boxes. PSA 7, Jordan. I have this one, PSA 8. You can see it's really heavy here and thinner here. So you knew it wasn't going to be a 10. Well, you didn't know because it was seen off center to get 10. These peel things are interesting. It says, do not be. I just actually got through a box of these and the, the stickers were so tough on them, this, this adhesive, that you almost have to bend the card to take them off. And then when you take them off, it has a sticky residue. So, in my opinion, if you have a high grade card without the plastic, it's worth more than with the plastic because. If you ever took the plastic off, it would go. It would get degraded many notches just because it's hard to take the plastic off and it leaves a residue. So if you got this back in 1997 and when it was fresh instead of 20, 30 years later, and you just easily peeled it off and you had a 10 without the, without the coating, it's better than with the coating at a 10. Because with the coating at a 10, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go down. This is an 8, so it really doesn't matter. Um, but I'm just telling you, that's my opinion of these coatings. Because although that's a factory, um, put on by the factory, it was meant to be peeled. And ultimately, this thing is just deteriorating the card itself. So as it ages more, it may have, it's like those um, chromes that turn green, like the, the Kobe rookie and the Marlboro rookie. You don't want them green. And these, you don't want them sticky. So this is an eight. Seven, Jordan. Ten, perfect ten in 2004. Flight teams. Seems like those flight teams come in pretty high because they're 2004, it's still 20 years old. PSA 7, Jordan. PSA 7, Jordan. Oh, here's a disappointing, kind of disappointing. PSA 6, rookie year, LeBron James high school card with a piece of his jersey, PSA 6. Looks like a nice card though, overall. PSA 5, Michael Jordan, 97, but look at here. PSA 8, these were stored in the same box. And interesting enough, the 8 is a die cut. I don't know if you can see it. This, oh, they're both die cuts actually. So I don't know how one got a five and one got an eight other than one's in worse condition than the other. PSA nine. So let's look at this sub tally. We got a five here. We got a couple of sixes. The, mo the majority of this one is sevens because here's the eight second most. No eight five nine and a single ten. <clears throat> so the sub thing right now is two fives, three sixes, <clears throat> bunch of sevens, which caught up <clears throat> almost with the eights. See the eights? These are the eights here. These are the sevens, so lost sevens and eights. Nine is in third place. And ten, got four tens. Five more boxes to go. Here's another box. And we are 24 minutes into this video. More basketball. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> hmm. PSA 8, Kobe Bryant, nice card. PSA 8, Michael Jordan. PSA 9, Michael Jordan. Oh, a 10, this is nice. 2009 Kobe Bryant, inside the number. Don't know if this is a special card or anything, but 
In any case, it's PSA 10. PSA 8, Michael Jordan. I think it's a baseball card, or maybe it's basketball, but it's golfing with a, a facsimile autograph, not a real signature, but just an imprint, silver signature, they call it the PSA 8. PSA 8, Michael Jordan. PSA 8, Michael Jordan game card. Congratulations. You are a winner. You have won one. I wonder if this was um, redeemed or not. It may be unredeemed or maybe redeemed. That's an interesting card. PSA 8 Jordan. PSA 9 Jordan. Jordan without the coding. I think it's called a mystery card like that. Mystery. See, this is what I'm saying about taking the coating off. I would always take the coating off. But now if I got a card 20 years later, I would just leave it as is, like this one. This says it's about the coating. I would just leave it there. This is PSA 8. It has the coating on it. Oh, this is what I was talking about, the green. See how Michael Jordan looks like? Is it on his arm and the other guys? They're all like a green hue. It's a 97 Topps Chrome. Jordan, that just is not some sort of oxidation type of discoloring in the process. Some get it, some don't. I had one Marlboro card that had all these speckles over it. And some people don't care or don't think it deserves it. It's like if you had a 10 and it, it degenerated or digressed into this type of um, green hue, is it still a 10 or isn't it? I think there's something to be said about the grading and the aesthetic that if I had Kobe's and anything in chrome that hasn't turned green yet, I would probably consider selling it because it's like keeping ice cubes as collectibles. They eventually melt or milk and eventually expires. I think it's an event, eventually that your card's going to turn colors and eventually people in the hobby are going to have a premium difference between those that are colored and those aren't, but also knowing that eventually they will turn colors because that's the nature of the medium and people will just live with it and keep them. So in a way I would rather, at this point of collecting 97s, I would want them totally green because they can eventually get there and pay a discount for the ones that are green. Gem Mint 10, Jordan. 2007. This is the first time I've done this by the way, so I'm not really a, a um, trading card YouTuber, but maybe I'll become one. PSA 8. Maybe this will get me past the 350 some odd subscribers and motivate me to do more of these. PSA 8. That was Jordan. In a wizard uniform. Kobe, PSA 8. This looks like another huge 8 stack. Kawhi Leonard, PSA 9. It's a new card. PSA 10, Tracy McGrady. Not 10, sorry, PSA 7. Nice looking card. Dwayne Wade, PSA 7. So let's see what we have. <coughs> From this box. 1, 6, 2, 7s. Stack of 8s. Couple of 9s. 2, 10s. So the subtotals are a couple of sixes, I mean fives, oops, sorry, two fives, sorry, two fives, I don't want to say, four sixes, big stack of sevens, the prevailing grade so far are eights, as you can see, compared to the second highest, sevens, so 50% more almost. Eights and sevens. That single eight point five. Nines, which is half of the eights, basically. So we have twice as many eights. Tens are looking a little bit more respectable. And one, two, three, four, five, six tens. 
And on to the last four boxes, everyone. And there's an insert card here. I think I know what it is. I think it was a CD card. That wasn't gradable, but I could be wrong. In the stack. Let's just take a look at what this thing is. Yeah, some weird CD card says, return, no grade, no charge. So that's the good thing about PSA. They won't charge you for that. It's a CD. You see, they won't grade this card. So here's the stack. LeBron James 9. It's interesting, these are uh, Lego lenticulars from 2023. PSA 9. Same thing, PSA 9. This one is Megan Rapido. You can see her turn from a Lego figure into a woman. So this is a Tim Duncan, PSA 7. Jordan, gold, PSA 8. PSA 8 Jordan. PSA 9 Kobe Bryant's a pretty nice card actually, by design. Again, I, I have no idea about the value of any of these cards. I have some idea, but I don't have any exact idea, actually. I'm going to seem like I'm not into cards. PSA 10. I have this card, PSA 8. PSA 8, when I say I have this card again, it's just I'm opening this up for someone else. Steph Curry Rookie, PSA 8. It should be higher. Not by grading, but just by the age. PSA 6, Tim Duncan. Six and a seven, side by side. I think it's just the nature of the die cut and the way these were made. So if you have a high grade, maybe worth looking into the value of something that goes out of the norm and this grade size six. Tim Duncan, eight. PSA 10, okay, so this one's interesting. A friend of mine had a bunch of these cards from 2002-22. I handpicked what I thought were a couple of them that looked like they were perfectly centered and tens and I actually hit the money on those for them. So my eyes really aren't that bad considering I have these glasses. I need them to see that I have a decent eye for some cards. But not a great eye, but a decent eye sometimes. PSA 8, Air Jordan, the Air, kind of nice. PSA 8, again, one of those um, SPX die cuts. PSA 6, too bad there's a piece of Kobe's jersey. There goes the grade. But hey, it's still a nice card, so that's done there. So here's the subtotals. Three sixes, one seven. Again, a vast majority of eights. Nines couple of tens. So the sub tally is this. Couple of fives, not that bad. Couple of sixes. Sevens. Eights. One, eight, five. Nines, half of the eights. Same as the sevens. Tens are looking a little bit better. Three more boxes to go. There goes one right here. This right here starts out with a seven. New school NBA Kobe Bryant 99 PSA 7. Michael Jordan's baseball card PSA 8 94. I think uh, PSA had a promotion anything 93 and newer was 
like fourteen ninety nine or something like that, or twelve ninety nine. I don't even know. Two thousand nine, James Harden, PSA nine, PSA seven, Del Curry, Steph Curry's dad. This is supposed to be a rare card. It's called a Star Ruby. So they get in a PSA seven. It's pretty nice. Gilbert Arenas, this is another Star Ruby. PSA 6, but it's still a rough card to get, or tough card. Rough condition, though. PSA 6, Allen Iverson. PSA 8, who's this guy? Chris Bosch, Hall of Famer, probably. PSA 9, Michael Jordan. PSA 7, Michael Jordan. PSA 7.5, Kobe Bryant, see, 7.5, they probably look, like, hmm, it's not quite a 7, not quite an 8, I'll give it a 7.5, that's like the only 7.5 we have, I didn't know they did have grades at PSA, Kobe Bryant, maybe those are worth more because it's rare, Kobe Bryant, 9, Carmelo, Mello, 2003 rookie, PSA 8, Kobe, PSA 9, Kobe, PSA 8, nice card, Gem Mint, PSA 10, Kobe Bryant, 2010, 2008, Kobe Bryant, 2009. Autograph, Andre Iguodala. They don't grade the autographs, though. PSA 8, not a bad card. He'll probably go in the Hall of Fame based on his rings and his contribution. This is a nice one. They call that autographed, but it really is an autographed. It's not signed, meaning that's, that's, that's the edition they call it. PSA 10, Kobe Bryant. Scoreboard. I think that's Ken Golden's or his dad's old company that people have good things and more not so good things today about that company. I never had any experience with them, so I can't really say anything about them, good or bad, just what I read about scoreboard. I think it was a shop at home stuff they did with autographs and the star basketball reprints or PSA 7. Okay, so this is interesting. Here's a rundown of this. Two sixes. A couple of sevens. A, a, a majority, but not a vast majority of eights. Nines. Two tens. So, still only two fives. Handful of sixes. A lot of sevens. I don't want to drop these. Eights. The nines are getting close to the seven and nine are almost the same. And eight is about 50% more than the eight and nines. And then the tens are looking good. And we have these two weirdos, a seven, five, eight, five. One of each. Two more left. We could do this in an hour. So you, what could you have done with this time instead of watching this video? Watch half a movie, eat dinner, go to the bathroom, read a book, play with your kids, be a kid if you're not an um, adult. But if you were just killing time late at night and just want to look at cards, I do this too. I watch these things. So I figured I'd just do these. And actually, I'm making this video specifically for the guy who owns these cards to show him his grades. So here's the second to last stack. Kobe Bryant, Slam Cam. PSA 9. Kobe Bryant, 1996, rookie card. PSA 8. Or was this rookie? I think it's a rookie rewind. 97 flare. Yeah, because that's 96 is here, rookie year. 97 is. Flashing back to the last year with the rewind. PSA 7. 
97, PSA 7, Kobe Bryant, Hoop Dreams. No, it's Hoop Screams. PSA 9, Jam Masters, Kobe Bryant. PSA 8, Michael Jordan. Uh, Michael Jordan, PSA 7. PSA 8, Michael Jordan. So this is a lot of Jordans and Kobe's. So that's what I'll probably end up titling this video. PSA 8, Jordan. Oh, Pat Mahomes, football, first um, football card. 2018, 2008. Oh, another 3D card. Megan Rapinoe. And again, you can see her turn into from a Lego minifigure to a lady. Lady minifigure. PSA 8. These are, I know, because I, I, I saw these before. These came out last year. So they were just not manufactured very well. That's why they got an 8. It has nothing to do with aftermarket damage. Interesting. 2009, Tom Brady, PSA 10, numbered to 100. So there's only 100 of these. So if I took this and threw it in the garbage, there'd only be 99 left. And none has graded better than this one because there's nothing higher than a PSA 10. So this is probably a good, a good one to have. PSA 8, Kobe Bryant. Chiefs, interesting. Not quite a nine, but not really an eight, 8.5. Second 8.5, gold. 2018, so relatively new. Well, he's a relatively new player, so I can't really say much about that. PSA 9, Michael Jordan. PSA 8, Joe Burrow. That's a pretty new card from 2021. And that's a 8. PSA 8, Jordan. Oh, another 8.5. Not quite a 9. Again, same old thing. But better than an 8. LeBron James, and if my best friend Kyle is watching it, Slam Dunk LeBron James, or is it LeBron James Slam Dunk, 2004, one year after his rookie year. PSA 10, Michael Jordan, 1997. PSA 10, Max Scherer, autographed mini framed card. Ginter, Allen and Ginter. Can't get better than this. So recap. Three sevens. A lot of eights. Some nines. Some tens. So. Still doing two fives. Decent number of sixes. Decent number of sevens. Eats have gone up like crazy. It's notable to say now that there's more eight fives than sixes. So there's eight fives, and here's the one seven five. Nines and tens are looking better than the sixes at least. So the tens. Last box. We could do this in an hour or under an hour. Jordan 7? Nope, Jordan 8. 1995. Tim Duncan, we saw this card before. It's a 7. PSA 9. Kobe Bryant. De'Aaron Fox 2021, 9. PSA 9. Jam Master Kobe Bryant, PSA 9. Kobe Bryant, 96. That's rookie year? I think so. PSA 8. Again, if you're interested in these cards, they're probably on eBay.
Cooper Cup. That's a relatively new card, 2017. I guess when he started being good in like 2020 or so. So maybe at a slow start. PSA 9. PSA 8, we saw this one before. I think we had it in the 10. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. Same collector, same card, taken care of in the same condition. Just came out of the pack differently or the way it was stored. This one came, got damaged in the process and one didn't in terms of just keeping them raw. Again, that's why you never know. You could keep buying them in boxes and they could come out 10s, they come out 8s. But you should take care of your cards. PSA 9. We saw this one before, by the way. I said it was a good looking card. <clears throat> PSA 8. Kobe Bryant scoreboard, high school, because he didn't go to college. Kobe Bryant. Another Megan Rapinoe, PSA 8, Lego. Look at that, pretty cool. PSA 10, Matt, Pat Mahomes, 2017. I think that's his rookie year. Yeah. Perfect 10. Leaf draft. Nine. The big man on campus. Patrick Mahomes, PSA 9. 2017 rookie year. Garrett Cole. PSA 8 Walmart exclusive. Baseball. Again. This is the other card I looked at. Um, my friend had a whole stack of them, and I just said, just grade one for fun to see, see what it comes out with. This is the best century one. It came out PSA 10. I think he owes me lunch and or dinner for this, because actually I, it took like five years, not five years, five hours to log these all in. Here's another carrot. Nine, eight, nine. Can't tell the difference. Walmart. Looks nice though. These are great looking cards. So these are eight and nine. It's a lot of labor, but you know, he's a good friend of mine, so I helped him out. There's only 50 of these that exist. It's Hank Aaron and Jason Hayward. Dur dual jersey card. Hank Aaron, you can see some dirt on that thing. Discoloring. PSA 4, lowest grade ever in this, in this submission. Dwayne Wade, we've seen this one before. PSA 7. We're nearing the end. Steph Curry, PSA 7. I think we talked about this. I gave it to my nephew before, but it had a jersey piece. But PSA 7, hey, it's, these are, none of these are commons. Last card, PSA 7. Summary, 4, the lowest card in this whole submission. 7s. Eights, nine, ten. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the stack. I don't know if it's this, this is. Okay, so this is the lowest card. One five. I mean, one four. This one right here is a four. Two fives, some sixes, and you can see this. These are all sevens. These are all eights. The weird seven five. The eight fives. The nines. And the tens. So if you see traditional whole numbers, this is kind of how they stack up. So forgetting about the fours, the fives, seven fives, and the eight fives. Let's see if I can move these closer. This is how they look. These are sevens. No, these are sixes, right? Yes, these are sixes. These are sevens. These are eights, these are nines, these are tens. So it looks like 
Uh, the most of them, the majority of the cards came in at the near mint mint eights. Then tied a little bit more, uh, like one more nine than a seven, but nines and sevens were pretty equal. Then the next highest ten, which if you look at it versus the nines, there's over twice as many nines, maybe two and a half times. You look at the 10 versus the 8, there's 1, 2, 3, 4 times as many 8s than 10s. And you look at the 7s, it's the same as the 9s, 2.5 times more, 1, 2, or maybe 2, 2, 2.5. Two and, and the 6s are just there. So that right here is the PSA submission of... Submission of 174 cards, mainly basketball, and that's the reveal. So comment if you think this submission reveal was too long, could have been better, it was kind of phony, it was kind of boring, it was very interesting, and you liked it, and if you didn't like it, just say it doesn't matter because I'm not even sure if we can do it again, or I'll bring water next time. So we came in under one hour. So now you could take a look at all these cards and rewind it, pause it, take a look at the front of all the cards. If you see anything you like, I'm sure you'll find them on eBay. Or if you want, um, you could send me a message and I could forward a message to the owner of these cards. Have a great time. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and make a comment below as they say.